you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Alberta government's air quality measurement doesn't just suck, it wheezes. <laughs> Last week, downtown Edmonton was covered by a smoky haze from the brush fires near Fort Saskatchewan, and yet the government's air quality instruments continued to measure good for that period, which is a testament to Alberta's poor air quality standards. My questions are to the Minister of the Environment. How can the Ministry have instruments which measure air quality as good when the smoke is so bad we can all smell it, see it and breathe it? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, um, the gauge that is used to determine the air quality index is a, is, is a combination of a number of uh, different measurements, most of which have to do with, uh, with identified pollutants. What the member is referring to uh, was the result, as we all know, of, uh, of, of, uh, of fires that were in the region uh, and, and relates to particulate matter. And particulate matter, yes, is part of the uh, air quality index, but, but, Mr. Speaker, the instruments that we use uh, are, 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 are checking for a number of other contaminants <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like ozone and, uh, and, and SO2. The Honourable Member. Well, Particulates have the most uh, serious effect on asthmatics, but uh, back to the same minister. The minister says the government is outcome focused. What outcome, aside from smoky air, is the government implementing that's an improvement on the National Air Quality Index? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I guess the member suggests that I should have been out there putting out the fires. Uh, by the way, by the way, we were. Uh, my colleague from SRD had a uh, number of people that were out working and helping with, uh, with, with, with fighting those fires. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, that, uh, uh, that we are focused uh, on ensuring that, uh, that we have a, a system in place that, uh, that measures uh, the kinds of, uh, of pollutants uh, that uh, will, will be a true determination of uh, the, the strength of our regulatory system and ensuring that uh, our industrial uh, emissions in this province remain within acceptable limits. The Honourable Member. The quality of the air on any given day. Uh, thank you. Back to the, um, to the same Minister. Maybe I, I can help you out a bit. In the past, um, the Minister has said that the reason that Alberta um, doesn't participate in the National Air Quality Inde uh, Index is that Alberta's circumstances are unique. So I'm wondering what unique circumstance Alberta could possibly have that means we measure smoky air as good quality. The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker. The issue, the issue that, uh, that this, the member refers to is that we have in place uh, an air quality index that is, uh, is, a, is a component of a, a number of, uh, of measurements, most of which relate to uh, in industrial emissions of one kind or another. Uh, we're focused, Mr. Speaker, on ensuring that we can adequately measure uh, the amount of, uh, of uh, volatile organic uh, compounds that are in the air, the amount of, of, uh, of, of uh, NOx that are in the air, uh, nitrogen dioxide, uh, which then result in smog. And at the end of the day, uh, Mr. Speaker, we feel that uh, given the circumstances in Alberta, given the fact that we've got a high concentration of industrial emissions, it makes more sense for us to concentrate on those areas. The 